comes to planking, as I've already said, I'm no expert. So what I do is I just trim it to make it fit. I use my cutting tools and sanding and I've almost gotten this side completely done. Uh, one thing I have been doing, I switched to um, just regular super glue that dries very quickly within 10 seconds and this is Loctite brand, has a nice small applicator. So this is the side that this has the double planking done on it and you can see where some of the super glue has some residue and that just kind of uh, leaches out as it dries. So you can see I have gaps and things and here's the layer from right here, let's see, right here this direction has double planked and then the first planking segment. It doesn't really look that much different. Like I said, I probably could have gone with just one layer of planking. But as you can see, I've got some bubbles and things. So we'll see when I get into the sanding how that actually turns out. But I've made good progress. Almost just a couple more planks on the very bottom side and I will be done with this side except for the top. I have to work my way up to the top of the ship. But I just wanted to mention how I was doing that with the masking tape and that has helped. And you can see along here, if I get close, see I made these smaller and fit them in. So not perfection by any means, but after all, this is a pirate ship. I'm just about ready to put in the last plank on this side. Put regular adhesive on the outside. I'm going to use the super glue to secure it on the inside. That way I can maneuver it side to side. I've made some progress in that I've taken, I had this glued on the bottom of this, but I've taken it off all of the windows have three sections so it looks like you put the window on first and then it has a backing and then there's a frontal piece and this was on placard I and you can see it has these little notches that fit down in these holes so that will secure on there and then the other one on the opposite side. And then you'll also take and put this framing around each one. Then the larger back windows also have a backing. So this will be the exterior. This will go on the interior. And then there are some corresponding these engravings. There's matching ones also on placard eye and they'll go back on the two sides matching what's out here. One special notation, the center window is a different shape. These are all a little bit elongated. This is even straight across. Hopefully you can tell that. I think it's uh, P8 or P9, but I'm pretty sure it's P8 because the center window has no slant to it. While I'm here, I will mention these are very hard to cut out using uh, an exacto knife without breaking them. So what I've been doing is going close to the edge and trying to trim away the outside wood so there's not as much to work with. I've determined that 
8 through 10 are actually thinner and I think they would go on the outside to make it more like this. And then the thicker ones must go on the back side. So that's how I'm going to proceed. It's also just slightly larger than the other ones. And then these two, it's probably hard to tell, but see it's slightly shorter on one side. And that's because of the slant. And what I do is I put a little bit of glue on a piece of plastic it's way over here. A thin layer of glue there and then I just lightly tap these on that. Another difference is uh, this, the ones on the outside that are the engravings, they're not quite as wide. They're a little more narrow. And I'm sorry, I do not know what the number is on it. I have these all packaged out and then somehow in the process of trying to figure out what was what, I got them mixed up but you can tell the difference in size if you look carefully. So that's taken me quite a while to figure out. I will get busy and try and put it together. There's some other engraving things here I have not figured out yet. So that's what it looks like with the trim on it. So I'll flip it around put these pieces of trim on. Then this. This is the back of the ship and that will be attached there. So let me get working on that. I was happy with that breakthrough. Here's the back portion all glued into place. And you can see the three layers, kind of. I've run into some difficulties. There's a piece that goes underneath this which I've taken off. You can see it here and this is where on the outside of the ship there's some little statuettes that uh, angle into these cutouts. I think I have the side ones correct but this back one is not matching up so I'm gonna leave it off for now. Maybe put it on when I actually put that on the ship. This piece goes underneath the window, so this whole thing would turn over. So that's one issue that I've come up with that I'm not certain on how I'm going to do it. And as I mentioned before, I wish I had not put this on. Well, in trying to get the window section on the ship, I snapped off both sides. Well, since that was done, I went ahead and pried it loose from the doors, so now I will be able to go in and do the things that I had failed to do inside. So there's some rafters that need to go in here both directions. I'll go ahead and do that. This piece I had failed to glue in. So, oh, it's pretty tight anyway, so it would have been okay. And these, I think I had mentioned before, I tried to make some Candles, those have lights buried deep in them, down in them. Uh, because I didn't want to try and do more wiring. If you get real elaborate, there are, like in the lower portions of the ship, they have lights, but I just ran out of patience. So, because this is off, I will try and get this done right this time. But I'm going to take a couple weeks off, I'm going to take a little vacation, so... I'll post what I've got and um, we'll go from there. I'm also making a base for it. I've got it stained but I don't have any coatings on it yet so I'm going to do that and then sorry for all the moving the camera around and then somehow I'll put four of these on to rest the ship on. I'll put some felt here. I may raise these up by drilling some holes in here and making some uh, posts out of dowel rods to raise it. But I think that'll look nice when it's done. But I have some challenges, so 
I'm taking a couple weeks off and then I'll get back on it. It's a nice winter project and hopefully some of this is helpful for someone else out there that's trying to build this ship. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't and have a great winter.